Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to take this uh, cheap dollar store toy and make a cool mech out of it. The Dollar Tree sells these for a pretty good price and they're perfect for customization. Since they are only about a buck twenty-five, I bought a whole bunch of them and I'm planning on using their parts and pieces for all sorts of builds, but today I'm just going to customize this one and paint it and maybe add a base to it. <laughs> First thing I'm going to do is plug some of these holes with hot glue. And now we will take it apart. The first thing I want to do is change this head. I've got this piece of a model tank and they're perfect for making tiny little details and I'm gonna put these little pieces on the face here. The first thought I had was giving this guy a chainsaw hand and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Here's a piece from a model airplane. I'll drill it out so it fits, and you can also buy these little accessory packs as well, and one of them had a little chainsaw. There we go. I think that looks appropriate. Here's another little plane part, I think it's a turret from a bomber or something. And more of these little tracks for some extra detail. I'll just cover up this little hole with some extra plastic. And one of the packs also had these little wing things, so I'm going to modify it a little and put it on the figure. I think I'll stick them on the shoulders here. And I got a little more detail on the knees here. And I decided to plug up some of these holes with some wire. And I figure he definitely needs a gun of some sort, so I dug into the little parts box and I found this little cannon. Cut it up and modified a little bit. I found a whole bag of these little brushes at a thrift store one time and I've been using them ever since for little tools. They're very easy to take apart, and I've been using them on almost everything I make. And I'll bulk up this gun a little bit. And sand it down so it sticks better. And we don't want to forget about the back for detail. And I think that's as much as I want to do here. Alright, that's the figure put together. I changed up his face off camera a little bit. I've been saving this green piece and I think it'll make the perfect platform for the base that I make next. Before I put a primer on, I'm going to spray it with some watered down Mod Podge. And to speed things up, I'll hit it with a blow dry. Now time to make the base. I've got this chunk of pink foam here. And I'm just going to cut it down and rough it up a bit. Alright, next we're going to mix a little concoction. I've got some aquarium rocks here, some sand, some dirt, some Mod Podge, some Elmer's glue, some paint. Oh, and don't forget the plaster of Paris. And we're going to mix it all together. It'll make a kind of a paste that I can make the whole base with. And I'm just going to spread it all over the pink foam. I'll leave a few areas so it has some depth to it. And I'll spray the whole thing with glue and sprinkle on some more sand for some more dirt. Right, I shot it with a coat of primer. 
Now it brings out all the details. I'm going to start with a black wash of some watered down acrylic. In between coats, I'm going to cover it with some more Mod Podge and dry it. And I'm going to do a dry brushing of some kind of robin's egg blue. For the base, I'm going to water down some orange acrylic and spread that all on there. And some red and get all between the cracks. I'll cover the little base piece with some uh, black. And I got some thicker orange here and I'll sprinkle that on as well. To break up the blue, I'm going to add some red, a little bit of dry brushing, and paint on a bunch of little red details in all the little areas. After I sealed in the previous colors, I'm going to put on some metallic copper paint. And once all the acrylic is dry and sealed, I'm going to cover it with some oil paints mixed with mineral spirits. For oil, I'm using some yellow and some burnt umber and some black washes. And a warning, if you use regular insulation foam and mineral spirits, it'll basically dissolve the foam. And here's a final product. I hope you enjoyed the build. If you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.